Hey everyone, I wanted to pop on here for a quick minute and talk to you about something that has been on my mind. I will try to make this as quick as possible. I don't have a plan, I'm just sitting and talking and I feel like my best videos <laughs> are a result of situations like this where I'm thinking about something all day or for a few weeks and then it just bubbles up so much inside of me that I have to let it out and I have to talk about it. And I usually want to film it because I think it's something that you guys can benefit from. So here it goes. I've been sick for the past few days. Nothing serious like runny nose, cough, like scratchy throat. And I haven't been sick in like over two years. I haven't been sick since I went vegan. And I was kind of like waiting for the shoe to drop because before I went vegan, I would get sick every year, at least once a year. Nothing like too serious, but it would always happen like clockwork. And I skipped last year being sick and I was like, ooh, I'm vegan. Maybe that's the reason why. And I think that has helped a little bit, but I think people get this misconception that once you go vegan, everything is magically right in the world. Everything is perfect in your life. You will never get sick. You will never develop any sort of disorder or disease. And life is great. Your marriage will thrive. Your relationships will be better. Your state of mind will be better. And the reality is, no, veganism can help and do amazing things in your life. But the reason is more than just going vegan. Like going vegan is changing what you're putting into your body, which can change how you feel. And that's great. Like that is a big first step for a lot of people. And that might, <clears throat> depending on the person, give you a lot of amazing results. And that's great. I'm not discrediting that, but I think a lot of people are expecting veganism to fix all of their problems, and I think that is an issue. Um, I got sick. I'm vegan. I've been vegan for almost two years now, and I... It's okay. Like, it's okay. And it's okay to talk about your struggles. Like, it's okay to discuss what's going on with you if you first go vegan and you're kind of having trouble with it or you don't really know what you're doing or maybe if you can't lose weight or whatever it is like I think we should talk about it and be open with that like I don't think we should package veganism into a pretty little box and say it's all gonna be amazing from here on out because that's just not reality and I don't ever want to seem like that type of person online I really pride myself on being authentic and real, and I have been real with you since the moment that I started hitting record on my camera and posting videos. I am someone that you can trust to always be upfront with you and speak my mind and not hold back, and I just want you to know that. Like, I, I don't have any agenda. You know, I don't make like a ton of money from YouTube, so I really just love connecting with you guys and being honest, real, and open with you and sharing my life. That's it. And it really annoys me when people talk about any, it could be anything, it doesn't even have to be veganism. It could be like, I don't know, uh, cycling or, um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anything else, but you know what I mean. Like a squatty potty <laughs> or like a, um, you know, infomercial things. That's like, oh my God, once you get this thing, once you start doing this certain thing, your life is going to change. And it's like, life is hinges on more than just that one thing, you know. Um, I think veganism can definitely encompass and overlap a lot of different parts of our lives and our mental state. But I think there's just like a lot of people out there, especially vegans, who go crazy because they're trying to put out into the world this perfect image of themselves after going vegan. And that's not realistic. Like, 
you can't, your diet will never be perfect, even if you're vegan, you're probably gonna eat something that's not good for you, even if it's vegan, and that's okay, like, it's okay to not be perfect all the time, and you can still be an advocate for something, or a movement, and you can still, um, you know, advertise, I don't know how you put it, you can still, like, evangelize veganism without being perfect, it's okay. And I don't want anyone out there to feel pressure to be perfect, to look perfect, to eat perfect, to be a good, good example of someone who is a thriving vegan. Um, and I think that is something that happens so much on YouTube. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, just like money and nice things and... Um, cars and houses and pools like those things are great but they're not going to solve your problems they're not going to make you love yourself and who you are on the inside they're not going to make you love your body more and it's it's interesting because a lot of the vegans that are now ex-vegans or people who just give up on veganism it seems they all kind of have a common theme with them. Uh, maybe just the ones that I have seen and known about. They all want to be perfect. They want to do things perfectly. And I understand because I am a recovering perfectionist because I get it. I get that urge. I get that desire to do everything right, to check everything off the list. It, you get like a high from it. But you go it makes you go crazy it makes you go insane it's so much pressure on yourself to do everything right and that's when you crack and you're like fuck this i can never do this i can never be vegan i can never eat a certain way i can never look a certain way i can never work out five days a week i can never work out in general i just hate this and <laughs> you have to do what is enjoyable to you like if you are eating food that is healthy like really a clean vegan diet but you hate the food you're eating you're not going to stick to it and then you're going to blame it on veganism um that's just how it is and that's the, that's the issue with all these people who are orthorexic, who have eating disorders. They come to this lifestyle and they overanalyze everything and they take it as, you know, like the word of God, like Bible, like, oh my God, I should live this way and do this and do that. And then they just drive themselves insane. And then they say, screw it, I'm done with this. So I want to encourage you guys to not beat yourself up over, I don't know, eating chocolate or eating something that's like really fatty or deep fried once a month, once a week, I don't know, whatever. I hate the word moderation because I feel like it's, everyone interprets that different. <laughs> Your moderation could be so much different than my moderation. I don't even know if this, any of this is making sense, but I just wanted to let you guys know that you don't have to be perfect. It's okay to share your struggles. No one wants to be friends with the perfect person. No one wants to be friends with that. Like, they're unrelatable. Unre you can't, and you feel uncomfortable sharing your struggles with them. So I'm here to tell you that you can share your struggles with me, and you can share your struggles with everyone who comments down below in the comment section. All of my subscribers are really amazing, and I feel like we've created a community here that is um, accepting and understanding, and um, I think everyone should have a community like that in their life. And if you don't, you really should reevaluate your relationships with people, and you should strive for that. You should look for that somewhere in your life. Um, it doesn't even have to be veganism. It could be whatever. So anyway, I hope this all made sense, and I want to let you guys know that I love you very much. Oh, one more thing that I wanted to talk about. I was recently interviewed by this amazing woman, Holly Rice, from The Inquisitive Eater, and she is an amazing person, and she approached me and wanted to do an interview and talk. She asked me questions about why I went vegan and the YouTube channel and um, stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, you should click the link 
down below. It's pretty great. She did an amazing job with it, and um, I'm really excited for you guys to read it. I really hope this video spoke to you on some level, and I just want to encourage you to stay imperfect. Imper imperfections are what make people beautiful and interesting, so don't be afraid or shameful of your imperfections. So, and if you are, and if you try to be perfect all the time, you'll just go crazy. It's, it's too much. So anyway, from one perfectionist to another, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Breathing in the air tonight Cause I'm hoping we'll be feeling alright